What is the difference between task and functions in Verilog? Tasks are non-synthesizable, okay. So, function cannot contain the simulation delay, okay, whereas task has the time delay. We can specify the time delay for task like hash or uh, await or any negative statements, positive statements, which are time control statements, we can put in task. But whereas the uh, function won't accept those things. Okay. So a uh, function can return a single value, whereas task returns uh, multiple values as output or in out arguments. Okay. It can return a value uh, that which function can do. And function cannot call other task but whereas task can call other task and also functions okay those are the main differences for function and task okay have any doubts we'll see example how the task and functions are uh, defined so this is the uh, function Another thing, function and task both are synthesizable. Okay, uh, functions, uh, there is no such thing. Function should be used only in uh, uh, synthesizable, not in simulation, not like that. Functions and task both are synthesizable, but uh, here tasks are using uh, uh, time, right? So whenever we are using a simulation time and all uh, in synthesis, it will not accept, it will not consider okay in the synthesis so here we are taking the function example function name is compare and we are passing these arguments like a input okay function written value so no need to mention the output in the arguments okay if a is greater than b it is displaying some statement if else if a is less than b some statement else a is displaying some statement okay so this function compare we are calling from another block okay so initial begin compare passing some values 10 comma 10 10 is the a input another 10 is b input second statement 5 comma 9 a, a is 5 b is 9 like that we are passing these arguments to the function so it will call we are calling the function here and uh, the statements are executing so if you see a is equal to b uh, here condition is true and a is less than b and this condition is true and a is greater than b this condition also true so this is how we can execute the function if you write the delays here it doesn't accept the delay Okay, we will try with the delay also how the function will get error. It will get the error. Okay, and we'll see another example for task. Task example, task compare. Here we are uh, giving arguments like input a comma b and also output. Both both types we can uh, take in the task. So if some statement uh, happens. It, it is uh, printing the display statement else if another display statement else. Here we are putting some hash 10. Okay. And next initial block, we are calling the task from the next initial block. Okay. Initial begin uh, some bit done. Here we are taking telling like a bit done. That means just to observe the delay here. Okay, if you don't want to observe any delay here, no need to put done. Okay, and compare 10 comma 10 comma done. 10 is input A passing that value and another 10 B output done passing done. And next one, so if done is high, uh, it is comparing with the time. That mean I told you in the task we can use the simulation time, right? So dollar 10 
we are checking with the simulation time here. So once done equal to high, it will display this time related uh, delay. And compare calling compare task again, five passing to the A and nine passing to B output done. So again, displaying the statement like that compare statement again, displaying another statement. We'll do the simulation. So see here A is equal to B as we passed 10 equal to 10 and the statement is A is uh, uh, greater than equal to B. This else statement is executing and once done equal to 1, we are comparing the completed time. So initially 10 again for next statement it is 10 plus 10 20 and again next 10 uh, next statement 20 plus 10 30. Like that we are comparing the time as we are using the delays in the task. But suppose I am putting here function in place of task. I am putting function end function. So what will get uh, will get error because one thing we cannot pass the argument here output we cannot pass in the function that is one uh, there is one error we'll get and also time see function compare should a return value it will just return a value okay whatever the input arguments we are sending it just return the value it doesn't uh, uh, take the in out value in out or output value we cannot mention and also function compare result is ignored once that statement is ignore uh, all these statements will be ignored right so compare so we cannot pass this argument done if we use the function okay so this is the difference between task and function first question did you understood everyone have any doubts okay next coming to the second question which of the following statements are true can you tell me which of the following statements are true regarding function? Let me compare. B, and C. B is true. Huh? Okay, let me check. B function should not include delay. Okay, correct. And functions are basically used to synthesize only combinational logic circuits. And the end result of this fun function can be used as data input to the flip-flops too. Yes, that's also true. Okay, functions we will use mainly for synthesis synthesizing the combinational logic circuit. Whatever we have generated something, some output from the combinational logic circuit, which is using by function, the, those things will, can be fed to the flip-flop also. So option one is also correct. And function may call other function, but not task is true. So task can call other functions and also task, but whereas functions cannot task, uh, cannot call other task. Okay. And function doesn't return a value. Is it true? No. Function returns a value. Right. So. Any doubts? No doubts. Oh. And coming to third question. What is the difference between regular delay, inter delay and intra assignment delay? We already discussed these delays whenever we are discussing blocking and non blocking assignments. If you remember. Can you tell me what is the difference between Regular delay, inter delay, and inter assignment delay. Regular delay execute the before simulation. Okay. Next, 
intra assignment delay after execution okay okay so i have given three options here which one is a regular delay intra assignment delay and inter assignment delay in these three okay first one is regular delay regular assignment delay second one is inter assignment delay sorry intra assignment delay third one is inter assignment delay okay as you said uh, pavan kumar b is correct intra assignment but c c is also regular assignment this also regular assignment and c can be considered as inter assignment also both are same regular and inter assignment uh, both are same okay so uh, you know regular assignment if you use the blocking assignment or if you use the non blocking assignment the delays will be added to the next statement right so if you take the intra assignment what happens for blocking assignment the delay will be added to the next statement if you take the non blocking assignment the delay will not add to the next statement right that's why for non blocking assignments we will write using the intra assignment which is uh, the delay is internal that mean uh, or hs side whereas inter assignment delay it is also like a regular delay for blocking assignment the non blocking assignment this 10 will be added to the next statement okay now can you tell me uh, what is the value of a c here at what time the c statement will be executed can you tell me the execution process here so a equal to 0 b equal to 0 uh, 0 plus 0 is 0 so the value of a and b at a time 0 it will be evaluate but it will wait for 10 time units after 10 time units it will assign to the c right whereas uh, second uh, c condition what is c condition it will take the value of a and b in the current time and it will store to the temporary variable and uh, it will uh, assign to the c at the 10 time units at 10 time units both of similar okay did you understood everyone have any doubts no oh, ma'am okay next what is the difference between parallel case and a full case okay the difference between parallel case and full case is nothing but in full case all the combinations will be written see here i have taken uh, a as a two bit two bit means how many combinations four combinations for all four combinations we assign some value here we took all four combinations that is nothing but full case okay whereas parallel case means a again two bit here two bit means four combinations but we didn't mention four combinations here by using the don't care question mark is nothing but high impedance case x or case z you can put right so this is nothing but parallel case that mean zero question mark means it will generate zero 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 one parallelly one question mark means one zero one one parallelly okay so that is the difference between full case and parallel case okay got it question which is used to introduce delays in the circuit can you tell me what is the answer which is used okay. to in okay delay element because the buffer is the delay element okay not only buffer every gate has a delay okay inverter has a delay xor has a delay flip flop has a delay different delay each gate each component will has different delays okay but buffer means it doesn't change the 
value that means whatever we are giving the input output is also same okay so it doesn't change the value that's why wherever you want to match the delay with the remaining uh, uh, signals like uh, with remaining parts suppose here one and gate is there is connecting to another uh, input and here one xor gate is connecting to another input and here some and gate and also output of and gate is giving to or gate to another some gate okay so here uh, delay mismatch is there whenever delay mismatch is there what happens in output will get a uh, glitches okay there is a chances of glitches because uh, this input is getting a uh, sometime this input asynchronously it is all inputs are getting to the gate okay that's why to avoid that uh, uh, asynchronous we are using the buffers here how many buffers you need to uh, uh, say put same as uh, this path we will use those many buffers okay by increasing the delay we can achieve that thing did you understood everyone that's why buffer is used to delays to increase the delays input in1 is equal to 4 bit 101x and uh, input 2 is 0101 so what is the output input 1 plus input 2 means what is the output here which option is correct don't care ma'am why don't care why don't care doing an any operation with don't cares it uh, returns output also don't care on which type of addition operation it is which type of addition operation 10 1 0 1 and uh, 0 1 0 which type of addition operation it is bit bit by bit bit wise operation right it is performing like that x plus 1 uh, is nothing but x 1 plus uh, 0 is 1 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 0 1 so triple 1 x here we don't have that option right so d is correct answer none okay suppose it is not uh, uh, you can't tell here directly x because it is performing bit wise bit by bit remaining bits are uh, valid okay do you got the answer uh, did you got the idea everyone have in any... yeah ma'am okay next question what what could be the expression for the below figure in 1 and in 2 or the input range variables and output is uh, Uh, y type wait just a second i will show you the waveform okay so here is it visible here input 1 something waveform is given and input 2 some waveform is given and output also given okay what is the question here they are asking what could be the expression below figure in one and input two or range variables and out is the output variable so which option is correct according to the waveform how the output can you tell me what is the output expression here Ma'am, can you repeat, ma'am? Okay. See, what could be the output expression from the waveform? That means two inputs are given. Some waveform has given for two inputs, and out also given. Okay. You need to get the output expression based on the two inputs how you will get output expressions based on two inputs you need to search for scenario 
वन जीरो वन वन ओके सो फॉर जीरो जीरो इनपुट वोट आउटपुट इज गेटिंग फॉर जीरो वन वोट आउटपुट इज गेटिंग वन जीरो वन वन वोट आउटपुट इज गेटिंग दिस फोर कंडीशन यू नीड टू चेक इन द वे फॉर्म ओके सो like that you can tell what is the output expression here what exactly it is performing and the operation man second one is second option is correct man okay like you said delay 10 nanoseconds 10 nanoseconds okay okay yes so here If you consider zero into zero, output should get zero. One into one, output should get one. Again, here it is changing zero into one. That means output should get zero. Zero into one, again output should get zero. One into one, output should get one. Okay, but exactly whenever input is triggering, output is not triggering. Okay, it is changing after some delay. That means here, whenever it is triggered to one both the inputs after ten time units. Here delay is ten time units. After ten time units, the output is triggering. So the answer is ten time delay. Uh, suppose A and B, input one and input two. That is the correct operation, right? So option B is correct. have any doubts no ma'am okay next one fourth question what is the value of the given verilog code suppose here always at the rate of clock a equal to 0 a equal to 1 has given okay and of a so here a is displaying so what is the value of a here what value it will be displayed initially a equals to 0 will be displayed ma'am why because uh, blocking element ma'am it is in active region okay After that, which statement will be executed? Non-blocking us statement. Non-blocking assignment. Okay. 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 Whatever she told, it is correct because a is equal to zero is the blocking assignment. First blocking assignment will be executed, and then non-blocking statement will be executed. So first a equal to zero. After some simulation time, a will be one okay so a equal to 0 at at current simulation time and a equal to 1 for the next simulation time next question analyze the code given and choose the right answer here what is the code given here top module assign a equal to a and or b Initial begin force. Okay, force means it is trying to execute, forcing the value. This value is forcing to out and release. Release means uh, stop. Okay, it should not execute. So what will be the output here? Option fourth option. How? Fourth option. How? Deepa, how option B is correct? Okay, tell how how option D is correct. Ma'am, as mentioned above, x is equals to seven and y equals to five. Hmm. First, to instanting with your name RTL circuit, ma'am. Okay. And then giving the delays x and y, ma'am, as mentioned in the parameters for the RTL circuit. Okay. Yes. So seven comma five RTL. Okay, 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 correct. Okay, good. So maybe you think A is correct. So because x is seven, y equal to five, maybe A is correct. Some 
somebody can think but why a is not correct means whatever the port list has given here the port list is not equal to uh, it is not same to here okay here it is a x comma y and here y comma x but in the design however you are taking the port list in the test bench also you need to take same port list if you don't take in what happens mismatch will be get suppose here x is a different output y is a different output so you you need to connect in the port list x to x y to y if you are taking some other variable then also you need to connect with the those related variable only okay if you don't take uh, correct variable your output will be mismatch so this uh, fourth option is correct okay did you understood everyone whereas x is the delay 7 and y is delay Five. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Next, ninth question. What is the difference between dollar display, dollar write, dollar monitor, dollar strobe, dollar finish, dollar stop, and dollar random? Dollar display means it will display the output with keyword word the output display. Okay. Dollar display, dollar monitor is the display other output onto the screen. What what? Can you tell again? To display the output onto the screen. A dollar monitor display or strobe or write everything you use it to display statement on the uh, console yes, only. Yes. but uh, there is a similarity between four we need to understand the similarity so that's what i'm asking ma'am in the monitor statement what are the mention statements in the monitor if there are any values changes, we'll display them. Okay. Okay. Any Whereas other answers? Display, ah, okay. Yeah, tell. Whereas in the display, whenever that statement occurs, it will display them. From display? Only once dollar. it will display them. Okay. 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 Any Anything other answers? Okay, dollar display is nothing but it will display immediate value. Okay, suppose uh, immediate value in the sense here I am taking one display statement, second display statement, third display statement. After third display statement, I am putting as a dollar display. Okay, so in this print statement, only this value will be printed. First two values will not print okay uh, for suppose i am taking dollar display here after first statement i am taking the dollar display okay then this first statement will be executed middle statement will not execute because dollar display means it will execute immediate values it will print immediate values okay so before dollar statement dollar display it is the statement and uh, for this display statement, it is the before statement. Okay, that's why these uh, first and third statements will be executed. Okay, whereas a dollar monitor means uh, it will execute uh, for every change of input. Suppose I am taking dollar monitor at first. So I am changing all the values, variables I am changing here. A equal to B something, A equal to zero at five simulation time, zero simulation time like the time changing value dollar monitor means it will it will take every change of the input whereas a dollar strobe dollar strobe means okay current simulation time statement will be printed by using the dollar strobe dollar write is nothing but same as a display okay but uh, whenever we are using dollar display immediately it will go to the next line okay but whenever we are using dollar right it doesn't go next line suppose here four statements are there 
I'm using the four display statements so here display one display two display three display four. OK, all these four statements will be printed in a four lines. But when I am using dollar right, uh, all the statements will be printed like this by using the dollar right. It doesn't go for next line. If you want to go for next line, you have to use the slash n to go next line as you are using in C++ C language we'll use right so like that we need to use okay so what about dollar finish and dollar stop what is the difference between dollar finish and dollar stop dollar finish is to stop distribution okay come come into a dollar shop it will come out of the simulation Okay, so dollar stop is nothing but the simulation will be suspended. Okay, suspended and here the simulation will be terminated. Okay, that means termination means so this task will be exit from the from that simulator and it pass control back to the operating system. That is nothing but termination, but whereas here it will be suspended. Okay, so that is the difference. And what is mean by dollar random? That's in random value. It generate the random value. Okay, dollar random means whatever uh, uh, no need to give the hot coded values for the input variables directly. It will randomize the value. So that is one of the benefit when we are using a, a complex variables, complex number of variables. Okay, so that is a dollar random. Did you got the clarity everyone? These are system tasks. We also have different uh, other system tasks like a dollar dump file, dump fats, dump off, dump on. So you can concentrate on those. Okay, have any doubts up to now? Well, dollars to one zero can be said. Okay, okay. Okay, that's what we are discussing here in question 10. We'll discuss that thing. Any doubts? Others? No, ma'am. Okay. Okay. See here. What will be the value of Y printed in the console? Here, what, what is the uh, code? Reg 3 down to 0. Y we have taken dollar stroke at a, a, some simulation time dollar time it is also a system task to print the delays to uh, to print the time y is equal to uh, something we are printing here after uh, uh, after that we took two state statements and hash 20 y equal to something and again y equal to something we took this dollar stroke so what will be the output here which statements will be printed in the it will execute the delay time. It will problem. execute delay time. Okay. What will be the value of Y? I think it's zero. Y zero. Why it is zero? It will print this statement. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, this dollar stroke will print that statement. What about this dollar stroke? So, um, at the zero simulation time, what what is the last statement? Y equal to A is the last statement. After 20 time units at that current simulation time, what is the last statement? Y equal to zero. Okay. So, for this first dollar stroke value, it is at the zero simulation time. So, in that zero simulation time, the last uh, last statement is y equal to a and next uh, for dollar stroke 20 after 20 time units in that current simulation time the last statement is y equal to 0 so here a will be printed here 0 will be printed okay suppose if i am using a same place a dollar display here dollar display what statements will be printed here I am taking dollar display. Here also dollar display. Zero will be displayed. Here zero will be displayed. 
What about this dollar display statement? They will be displayed. Here, unknown x will be displayed because there is no value before this okay. dollar statement. There is no value assigned to y. Okay, so here unknown will be displayed. Uh, one unknown will be assigned to y, and immediate value means here zero will be assigned. Okay. Otherwise, if you want to display these four values using the dollar display means what we have to do here. We need to one put one display statement here, one display here, one here, one. Four display statements you can put. Then it will print every immediate value. That is the dollar display. Dollar monitor means I can put only here dollar monitor. It uh, take every value change. Okay. So that is the dollar monitor. Did you got the clarity, everyone? Now. Yes, ma'am. Okay. If others, if you don't uh, don't get the clarity, please let me know. Okay. Next question. What is the result of the below code? Here, a module has given with addition and repeating five number of times. Add one equal to dollar random modulo ten. Dollar random modulo ten is nothing but here dollar random is randomizing the value. Okay, then what about this modulo ten? Okay, see, percentile ten is nothing but it will assign the values zero to ten. It will randomize the values zero to ten. Okay, percentile ten means uh, here only maximum value we have assigned. Uh, minimum value we didn't mention. So minimum value will be the zero always. So zero to ten between in this range it will generate the random value. Okay, so in the first case it is a signed. Signed means both positive and negative. Actually, but here zero to ten means we don't have positive and negative, right? So it is a signed and unsigned means only positive values. Here in this case, it will it will generate zero to ten unsigned value. Okay, did you got the idea now? Yes, ma'am, got it. So this is how we can randomize the values in Verilog. Next question. What is the result of the below code? So here, what assignment we have used for add forty plus dollar random modulo fifty minus forty. So what values will be generated? What values will be randomized to the add? Can you tell me? Zero to ten, ma'am. Why zero to ten? How? How zero to ten? Fifty minus forty equals to zero ten, ma'am. Fifty minus forty. Okay. And forty equals to ten, ma'am. Okay, but we cannot use like that. Okay, this is the expression. Okay, what is the expression means? Minimum value plus dollar random mod uh, modulo maximum value minus minimum value. Okay. In this case, it will randomize the value between maximum value to minimum value. Sorry, minimum value to maximum value. So minimum value is a forty here. Maximum value is a fifty here. So between forty to fifty, it will randomize the values. Okay. Did you got the point now? Yes, ma'am. You can try all these things using EDA Playground. Okay, then you will understand how these values are generating exactly. You can put the as a signed, unsigned. You can generate minimum to maximum. In Verilog, we can use only the dollar random. But in System Verilog, if you go, it is a advanced level. We can randomize there, and we can control the randomization there. Okay, uh, how means? How can we control means? Suppose here forty to fifty random values are generating. Okay, we are telling repeat a fine number of times. Repeat fine number of times means it may generate a uh, forty one, forty two, three times forty two. It may generate and next forty seven. These random values it may 
generator but what happening here three times the same value is repeating if three times the same value repeat means number of scenarios are reducing right in in place of these three values we if we generate other two different values we'll get more scenarios we can observe in more scenarios but here it is taking three values uh, three different scenarios for single value that is the disadvantage in the very log okay if you go in system very log when we are doing the randomization there by using rand we can do the randomization by putting input variable as a rand but this case we can uh, uh, avoid how because uh, how means we can put simply as a rand c rand c is nothing but it is a cyclic uh, uh, manner it will repeat the cyclic form so once a once a value generate until all the values generated again then only it will generate the same value by using the rand c in the system where law that's how we can uh, uh, avoid these things okay and also in system where log we have the controllability we can write the constraints okay uh, constraints in the sense uh, we can uh, control the randomization like if you want to generate uh, uh, between 100 to 200 uh, between 100 to 200 or uh, greater than 100 like that we can write the constraints so like we can have more controllability on randomization okay but where log we don't have such things did you understood everyone next question what is the result of the below code here a counter code has given with a clock reset counter input and output always at the rate of passage clock if condition and else condition so what type of counter it is what is the size of the counter four bit size four bit, four bit size means it has a four number of flip flops okay flip -flops. Uh, what type of uh, counter plus one plus one means it is a incrementing In incrementing means up counter okay F four number of flip flop means it will count between 0 to 16 0 16 to 15 minutes. 0 to 15 yeah. so will it count 0 to 15 here no why why it won't count 0 to 15 here it is up to 9 only ma'am it is up to 9 only so it is a modular 9 counter 9 means 1 double zero 1 okay so this and this we need to connect to the NAND gate input okay because to make this uh, flip-flop 0 and this flip-flop zero it should go to reset state okay so output of nand gate will be connect to the input of clear signal okay input of clear signal here active low clear signal we are using so once whenever in output of nand gate is zero whenever we are fedding inputs as a one to the nand gate the uh, th uh, the clear signal will be activated and these two flip flops will be reset and all flip flops will get zero after reaching to one double zero one okay suppose if i want to uh, use as a modulo nine count uh, nine, modulo six counter what is the value of uh, six uh, zero double one zero once uh, it reaches zero double one zero then these two inputs uh, one one i'm connecting to the input of nand gate then it will make a zero output then this zero will be connected to the clear signal then these two flip flops will go to the reset state once these go uh, two flip flops go to reset state output will be all zeros that mean it will print from 0 to 6 again it will go to 0 reset state okay so here uh, this circuit working as a modulo 9 counter okay did you got the point everyone yes ma'am okay Next question.
a time scale has given 10 nanoseconds by 1 nanosecond value is given initialized value with a zero and after one time unit display statement has printing and value equal to one after 1.24 time units display statement again after 1.50 1.90 and hash 5 now tell me what at what simulation time which display statement will be printed first of all everyone know this uh, time scale concept no ma'am okay no ma'am told okay see here 10 nanoseconds by 1 nanoseconds time unit time precision okay so time unit will be divided with a time precision time unit must be high every time okay so time unit is high here so 10 nanoseconds by 1 nanosecond n n same so n n we can cancel 10 by 1 is nothing but 10 okay so this 10 will be multiplied for every simulation time okay every simulation time that 10 will be multiplied now tell me the answer first statement at what time it will be displayed 10 nanoseconds 10 nanoseconds okay next this one 10.24 10 into 1.24 so 10.24 okay next will be 10.50 Add the delay. 10 into 1.24 is it 12.24, right? Yes, ma'am. 10 uh, it is a 12.24. So you need to add these two delays. Then what will be the output? 10 plus 12. It is a 22.4. Right. And what is this delay? 1.50 into 10. 15.0 plus 22.4 ma'am. Okay. 15.0 plus 22.4. Whatever the value is getting, that is the value here. Okay. Next statement. 19.0 zero. 19.0 plus 37.4 whatever the uh, getting the uh, value here that value will be added to next okay 5 5 into 10 50 50 plus this value okay so at those simulation time the display statements will be printed okay did you got the point everyone yes ma'am okay so this is how time scale 10 nanoseconds by 10 nanoseconds if i give oh, how what you need to do 10 by 10 is a 1 so with every uh, statement here every delay you need to add with a 1 okay if i give 1 nanoseconds by 1000 picoseconds okay then what you need to give uh, 1000 will be the value and you need to put uh, multiply with the 1000 okay like that you can uh, increase the delays and you can uh, check the value okay and next question what would be the simulation time in the below code or value equal to 10 time scale is given as one nanoseconds by one picosecond okay can you tell me what is the value of one nanosecond by one picosecond thousand it is a thousand so our value equal to 20 our value again we are taking or uh, uh, equal to 10 okay at what time after 10.56 uh, this 10.56 uh, must be multiplied with a thousand what will be the value around how it is thousand how it is thousand what is the value of one nano 10 power minus 9 
divided by 10 power minus 12. Okay, after cancellation, it will remain 10 power 3 is nothing but 1000. So, uh, above uh, means uh, uh, numerator part will be always highest value. Like, yes. uh, suppose it is 1 ns by 1000 picosecond, that time what no. is uh, Here, time unit, this is the time precision. Time unit must be greater than always time precision. Okay, time unit uh, must be greater than precision. So this is the condition we need to check every time. So if it is not greater than? If it is not greater than, we will get negative values. Do we have negative time? No. Then? That's why okay. it should be greater than always. So okay. if we you have can like try. One, mm. one NS by... Uh, Suppose we have 10 PS. 10 PS. Then what will be after all doing will get 100. Yeah. Yes. So 100 we need to divide with all this. Uh, sorry, okay. multiply with okay. this value. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yes. Like that uh, you cannot take uh, 10 picoseconds by 1 nanosecond. Because 10 picosecond is very minimum value, 1 nanosecond is greater value. So you, you will get the negative value here. Again, you will get 10 power, uh, 1 power, uh, 10 power 3, like that. So which is a negative value here. So we cannot consider that value. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Have any doubts, others? Have any doubts? So, what is the value here? 10566 uh, and 10,566, ma'am. Okay. Option C is correct. Okay. And next question. What is the order of execution for the below code? Reg A, B, C. A equal to B equal to C at zero simulation time. So the statement has printed here and a uh, non-zero simulation time C equal to zero and A equal to zero, B equal to zero. The statement has given. So what is the order of simulation here? You can check the options here. Thinking zero delay statements will be executed first or otherwise uh, the non-zero statements will be executed first then zero. Can you try this simulation? Then we can understand which statements will be printed. Hello? Yes, ma'am. I will ma share this code in the group. Just try and let me know which statements are executing first. Okay? Then we can confirm okay. any of the options. Okay, have any doubts? Okay, next question. Analyze the code and find the output. Here, we are using the fork join. What is mean by fork join? Can anyone? What is mean by fork join? Parallel threads. Uh, th yes, these are the parallel execution statements. Okay, whereas begin end is the statements will execute serially when we use begin end. But when we use fork join, all the statements will execute parallelly according to the delay. Right. So can you tell me what is the output uh, at what time what statement will be executed? What will be the output? First, hash 10 has given. And then uh, within the begin end, begin end, within the begin end, first statement hash 10 
and within the fork join 20 10 5 so which statement will be executed first as beginner yeah tell first delay 5 first delay 5 okay will it be, uh, after that 10 and uh, x 20 okay within the fork join those statements will work um, will execute accordingly okay but fork join is there within the begin end within the begin end first begin end will be executed right in begin end all the statements will execute serially so which statement will execute first first will be executed uh, has 10 has 10 uh, first okay. statement before fork time okay then uh, it will be executed your uh, uh, 15 and uh, 15 has 15 the third display hash 5 plus hash 10 15 okay at 15 time units uh, five delay statement will be executed okay then at 20 second middle display okay 20 yeah. okay this 10 plus then at, 10 has 20 time units okay Next. then at 30 first display okay hash 30 first statement will be executed then okay. uh, then uh, last and uh, after join statement also at 30 it will execute okay 30 plus 40 70 it will execute right did you understood uh, everyone yes ma'am okay here at 30 time units and 30 plus 40 time units next statement will be executed okay so this is how we can use the fork join the parallel execution statements parallel execution in the sense whatever least simulation time is there that least simulation time statements will be executed first then it will uh, accordingly the time wise the statements will be executed okay least to highest simulation time those are the folk join okay and next question if you note the difference between Blocking assignment, non blocking assignment, folk join. Let me know. Okay. And next question If A and B are two 3 bit vectors, suppose 3 equal to 1x0 and B equal to A equal to 3 bit 1x0, B also 1x0. So, what would be the value of following A equal to B? A triple equal to b equality operator arithmetic equality operator so what will be the value here a equal to b and a triple equal to b first of all what is the difference for both can you tell anyone triple equal to uh, will uh, check for x and j also okay means case inequality that is basically okay so what will be the output here for both values? What will be the value for both conditions? Second will be true. Okay. 